been fighting my whole life. It's not a choice for me. You see this guy here staring back at you? That's your toughest opponent. Who's next? I think that's true in the ring, and I think that's true in life. Hello, Planet Internet. I am Emperor Cole. This is Emperor Cole Film Review, brought to you by MindbenderENT.com. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the film Creed, directed by Ryan Coogler, starring Michael B. Jordan and Sylvester Stallone. When this film first came out, I have to admit, I wasn't expecting it to do very well. I thought it was going to be a box office bomb, and I didn't think the film was going to be very good because it was another Rocky film, and I felt like there had been too many Rocky movies already. So now, when this movie actually came out and I actually took the time to go see it, I have to admit, I was blown away. I was like, wow, like, oh my gosh, they actually did well on this film. Ryan Coogler actually took this movie and just... Hit a home run. Fernandez, left field, it's deep, it is good! I mean, this is out of the park. Michael B. Jordan's performance is fantastic. Sylvester Stallone is going to be nominated for an Oscar because of this film. It's just, it's all kinds of crazy, like, it's cats, it's dogs, it's, it's just living together, it's all crazy. Hey, human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria! So now, as far as the acting goes in this film, this is the best acting I've ever seen Sylvester Stallone do. Now, I'm a huge action fan. I love movies where things go boom and people are running around chasing after each other with guns and things of that nature. But um, I've never seen Stallone better in the role of Rocky. I've never seen him act better in any other film that he did in this movie. So, Stallone's performance is powerful. Like, I mean, he's so believable as his character. He's so believable as Rocky at this point in his life where basically his hype and fame and money, everything is completely gone. Rocky's back to just being a regular old guy. And the emotion that he shows, just the compassion where he's trying to help his former best friend's son, who's now here, who wants him to train him, it's, it's without giving away too many spoilers, this is just, this is what I'm talking about. Like, Stallone, he has my vote for the Oscar right now. Granted, there are a couple more films coming out this year which are definitely going to be Oscar bait, which are going to be competing. We still got The Revenant. We still got The Hateful Eight. We still got Star Wars coming. And we still got Concussion with Will Starr and Will Smith. So, yes, there's some more competition coming. But as it stands right now, for me, Creed is the best film of the year. Another reason I think this film did so well and think it was able to come together the way it did was Sylvester Stallone was actually able to step back and let Ryan Coogler be the director. He was able to let him shepherd the story, which is amazing because obviously this is Stallone's character. This whole universe, the whole Rocky universe is Stallone. So if he, he could have actually took an ego stance and said, you know what, you haven't done enough kid for me to do this movie with you. But the fact that Stallone was able to recognize that, hey man, this could be really good, this could really work. And he let him, he let him like, push it in the direction he wanted to do it. It has a very youngish type vibe to it. And he was able to step back that, that, that is a professional. That's somebody who knows it's all about the project. Let the project be the best that it can be. It is about having a big ego and having to be the person to say, oh no, I did this, I did that. Creed was so good. This movie made me seriously consider taking boxing lessons. So now, I have a couple couple guys I know who are heavy in the boxing world. They, they do the professional boxing thing. They're trainers. They're around it. But seeing this film really made me want to go and... Lace up the gloves and get in there and start throwing some punches or something. So, I don't know. Maybe I will. It might help me burn, up, burn off a couple pounds. What do, you, what do you think? Yes? No? Huh? You got knocked the fuck out, man. Give me my goddamn money. It's time to pay some bills. Let's go to this quick commercial break from our sponsor, Mindbender Entertainment. The future is now. This. Huh? It, Mindbender ENT, what is this? Is this what you're doing while you're supposed to be working? The ladies love it! What's even on this website? 
It's mindbenderent.com. It has everything. We have a presentation in 10 minutes. This is unacceptable. The ladies, the ladies love it. What? Where do they come from? Oh, them? They're just a pigment of my imagination. <laughs> mindbenderent.com has everything. <laughs> I love that commercial. It, it crack, cracks me up. The ladies, the ladies love it. <laughs> ah, yeah, woo, pretty funny. All right, I am Emperor Cole, hence the crown, <laughs> and uh, I will be doing my film reviews here at mindbenderent.com. You can check me out, mindbenderent.com. You can also check me out on YouTube, mindbenderent one. On the YouTube is the YouTube channel. Uh, all right, so now it's time for me to give Cree an official score on the Mindbender movie meter. Uh, given that I liked everything about this film, I liked the acting, loved the story, loved the cinematography, the pacing was great. The ending is all. I, I want to get to the ending. The ending is the ending is amazing. This I have to give this film. A 95% on the Mindbender movie meter score. 95%, as you can see, right here. <laughs> on the bottom of your screen. Hopefully that graphic comes in where it's supposed to. But uh, coming up next, I'm going to be reviewing The Good Dinosaur. And I'm also going to be reviewing James Bond Spectre. This has been Emperor Cold Film Review, Creed. Several more reviews are coming up in the future, so feel free to subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel, Mindbender ENT1. There'll be a link for you to click down below. Feel free to check us out on Facebook at Facebook Mindbender Entertainment and on Twitter at Twitter, excuse me, Mindbender ENT. Uh, check us out and remember, the future is now. Later.